Disability History, Panel 8, 1866 through 1876 A.D. From Care to Control Societal Values Protect Normal Americans Fear of People Who Look and Act Differently Moral Viewpoint A popular textbook for educators by Stanley P. Davies advocates strict control and confinement of persons with disabilities to protect society. Connection to Different Time in History In 1959, Stanley P. Davies published The Mentally Retarded in Society, a radical and far more positive revision of his earlier work. Moral Viewpoint Quote, Of late, we have recognized a higher type of defective, the moron, and have discovered that he is a burden, that he is responsible to a large degree for many, if not all, of our social problems. End quote. Dr. Henry Goddard, 1915. Social Viewpoint one positive event of this era was the beginning of special education. As teachers in public schools became aware of the increasing numbers of students with learning disabilities, they called for special classes and teachers to educate them. Rhode Island opened the first public special education class in the U.S. in 1896. By 1923, almost 34,000 students were in special education classes. Social Viewpoint Rehabilitation services on a broad scale were introduced as a federal program following World War I. The need for retraining men disabled in the war led to the beginning of the vocational rehabilitation system. Services were also established for the many soldiers who lost hearing, eyesight, and mobility. Connection to Different Time in History 2,000 paraplegic soldiers survived the Second World War compared with only 400 from World War I. Give me your tired, your poor, your sick, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Emma Lazarus Medical Viewpoint Social Darwinism, promoted by Herbert Spencer, held that the theories governing the evolution of biological species by natural selection also governed the affairs of society and social evolution. Just as Charles Darwin had said, those who survive are those best fitted to their environment, survival of the fittest. Social Darwinism held that only the fittest social systems should survive. This belief helped to justify forced sterilizations, marriage restrictions, and the warehousing of individuals with developmental disabilities in institutions. Medical Viewpoint In 1882, Congress passed the Undesirables Act, which prevented convicts, paupers, the insane, and idiots from entering to the United States. Not until 1965 did Congress reverse its prohibitive legislation against the immigration of so-called feeble-minded persons or families with feeble-minded members. Moral Viewpoint Moral imbecility, also referred to as juvenile insanity, moral insanity, physical epilepsy, and moral paranoia, was a vague concept used to define a wide range of characteristics from minor behavior problems to serious aggressiveness. Persons who fit in this category were also called defective delinquents and morons. Instead of focusing on the individual's level of ability, these labels shifted the focus to the potential social evils they could cause. Social Viewpoint Dr. Alfred Bennett and Dr. Theodore Simon developed a measuring scale of intelligence for determining the degree of intelligence of persons with developmental disabilities. Initially used to identify students who required special help, this test was adopted by American superintendents to easily label persons with developmental disabilities. Connection to Different Time in History In 1913, the United States Public Health Service administered a version of a newly invented Bennett IQ test to immigrants arriving at Ellis Island. Professional researchers recorded that 79% of Italians, 80% of Hungarians, 83% of the Jews, and 87% of the Russians were feeble-minded. 
Rather than challenging the validity of the test, the results served to reinforce negative images of immigrants. In 1917, Dr. Goddard and his associates used a version of the Bennett test on 1.75 million army recruits and concluded that 40% of the white male population was feeble-minded. 